Okay, good morning, everyone. So this is uh, CAM 137, uh, Modern Analytical Chemistry, or we could say the instrumental analysis, as I would say it uh, in the courses that I teach. So first of all, make sure uh, you pass the prerequisites, which is 111. Okay, some of you already emailed to me the proof that you passed the course, the prerequisite course. So in case uh, you think you can get away with it, once the system found out that you didn't pass the course, automatically you will be dropped out of the course. Okay, so bahala na kayo kung gusto niyo magsinungaling sa sarili niyo. And if the system found it out, it, it just waste the time and the slot na maraming gustong makapasok dito sa course na to. So as of now, if I'm not mistaken, this morning here, which is last night there, uh, there are 27 students, but at least I'm expecting uh, 30 students in this course. The first time that it uh, way over what we call 25 students. So this is my uh third semester teaching the course so the first time it was uh, only 17 students last time it's 25 and this time it's what we call third uh, 30 students so for those who don't know me my name is elmer mohika uh i'm one of the lecturer for this uh 137 course there's another section that runs uh that is being taught by uh professor uh she Ariola. And I think they are held Tuesday, Thursday. They are the section B. And we are the section uh, D. Okay. Now, I sent already the invites uh, for those uh, LMS that we're going to use. So the one that we're going to use is the Canvas. So if I'm not mistaken, okay, all of you uh, accepted the invites, okay? So this is how it looks like. Home. So I'm starting to put the materials in the invites. And the one that we're going to discuss uh, today is what we call the first guide. So it's just one of the things there. I just uploaded it today. Oh my God, your meeting will end in 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I, I don't know what, what, what's the problem with the Zoom that we have. Okay. 22 minutes pa naman pala. Pala ko 10 minutes na lang. Okay. So this document, I, I want you to uh, have a copy of this with you. Okay because this is the, some sort of our guide. But I think uh, based on experience that we have, instead of making everything late, okay, we're going to go well ahead of our schedule uh, so that you will have enough uh, time for other courses by the end of the semester. Kasi nangyayari lahat, uh, sir, extend, sir, extend, sir, extend. So in the end, uh, lahat ng estudyante na overwhelmed pagdating na doon sa final weeks. Okay? So I, I look at the schedule that was in, uh, put here. So this was uh, what we call put by uh, Dr. Ariola. And I think we can move a little bit faster compared to what is given here. So the idea that I have is maybe we can finish by the first week of December all the course material, okay? And this is all for your own good, 
Kasi usually lahat kayo gusto ninyo ma-extend ng ma-extend to the point na pati graduation ninyo pwede rin ma-extend. Ang hilig kasi ng mga estudyante, sir, extend mo ang deadline. Okay? Tapos magtataka kayo, o bakit po kami extended sa aming uh, semester? Okay? So, I, I think that's what we're going to do. And whether you like it or not, we might meet every meeting, maybe for 40 minutes, okay? Just to make sure that uh, you, you have some sort of a community. Unless, of course, I have some other stuff to do, okay, uh, during that time. And you will be informed well ahead. So this is the advantage if all materials has been already been prepared. And what I'm trying to do now is uh, we could say be on hand, okay, by being in touch with the students. And to make sure that you're going to what we call attend the session, when I found out that I only have eight to 10 students, okay, uh, out of the 30 students, I have the prerogative to give recess. And whoever's absent, whatever your, uh, what we call reason, okay, I can give you a grade of zero, okay? You have the right to be absent, but I have to the right to what we call give you a grade of zero if you're not present. So, may karapatan kayo, may karapatan din. Ako. I just want to make everything clear, okay? And whatever you heard from the previous semester, that's done, okay? Because what I'm trying to do is improve the teacher, the teaching or the delivery of the course as I go on, okay? I try to look from the previous semester, Alin sa sila nagkamali, and I try to improve it this semester. So that will be, we could say, the policy that we have. Okay, and rest assured, yung uh, mangyayari sa atin, yung synchronous meeting natin, of course, it's during our class time. And if we can do the quizzes and the other stuff, like the long exam, it will be also like this. And when we ever we have the long exam, it will be just a one-day window. Hindi na ano yung... Uh, two days window gaya dati. And when we have a problem set, we're just going to give a day. We, ang gagawin ka sa problem set, one problem. So most likely, you have one problem set every week. So it's easier for me to grade. It's hard to grade online uh, problem set. So I think the, the easier way to do is maybe when we have a problem set, hindi, hindi na problem, eh, problem na lang. Okay? Uh, it's all the calculation portion. Okay. So, this is Chem 137, Modern Analytical Chemistry. So, if you're going to look at the course description, it mostly more on instrument. Okay. So, the theories and the principles. So, this is, I think, uh, one aspect that makes this course uh, uh, in a more advantageous manner because everything we discuss here is in theory. So the theory and the principles of the instrument, the modern methods of chemical analysis. So this is designed to give students knowledge about instrumental methods of analysis. I don't know how the laboratory component of this is being delivered, but I think this is best thought, uh, uh, at least the uh, laboratory portion, hands on in person, okay? Now at this level that we have, the emphasis is given on the principles of instrumentation, instrument components, limitations of measurements, and the selection of the appropriate techniques for specific problems. So you have Chem 111 for this course. So this is a three unit and three art class. So we meet Tuesday, Thursday, okay? So what do I expect? Uh, for you at the end of the course, okay? So at least you're able to explain the basic principles involved in a variety of analytical methods. So what does it mean? You, you should be able to know what's the principle of a spectroscopic method, what is the principle behind of a chromatographic method, and what's the principle behind an electroanalytical method. And knowing the principle, if you're given a sample to analyze, you can choose which method that you're going to use, okay? 
So you recognize standard orga uh, organization and the requirement for accrediting of testing laboratories. So this is uh, on module two. Demonstrate the ability to construct calibration curves. Okay, so this is a calculation problem. We might start with as early as next meeting. Interpret and apply the performance characteristics or figure of merits of instrumental methods of analysis. So what do you need to have? Okay, when you try to develop a method, yun yung tinatawag natin figure merits. Okay, and recognize the basic components used in chromatography, mass spectrometry, molecular spectroscopy, atomic spectroscopy, and then retroanalytical methods and radioanalytical methods. So at the end, you have an idea what modern methods you're going to use in a given problem. Let's say if you're asked to separate heavy metals, what are you going to use? Or you are asked to analyze heavy metals. Okay. If you are asked to analyze, let's say, uh, the lambanog that you have there, what are you going to do? If you want to uh, analyze kung peke ba yung suka ninyo, what methods are you going to apply? Okay. And you expect also to solve problems about the practical applications of instrumental methods of analysis. So what, that's what uh, I'm expecting you to learn by the end of this course. Okay? So, but at least in the course coverage that we have here, so you will be guided here. But as I've told you, this material was prepared by Professor Ariola. Okay? So, my uh, objective here is maybe we go ahead compared to the other courses that we have. So that if you're going to go this one, so here it expected that we have what? Three weeks for this, including today. But I think this can be finished by two weeks. Okay. This one, I think you have what? Uh, two weeks. Okay. Separation is a little bit long. Okay although there's a reading break there. And then uh, spectroscopic methods, mass spectrometry, kasi makikita nyo dito lahat na ano sa huli. Okay? So parang na, 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 na iwan siya sa huli. But what I'm trying to do is maybe we will go ahead with this schedule. Okay? And the best way for you to be, uh, to, 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 to be what we call uh always be in touch with this one with this course is not to be left behind okay so so yun yung guide new and from time to time i'm going to remind you although the materials that we have here okay the recorded lectures from previous semester are already available so what we're going to do during our synchronous class is to just emphasize the more important part okay do on the recorded lecture Okay, so ito yung kabu 